Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Last night on Linda Moulton Howe, June 14, 2023, she talked about that new whistleblower out of the Pentagon. I blogged on that last week. You can look at what I did on last night on Linda Moulton Howe. I think it was June 7. So she talked about that more extensively. She's talking about the same things she talks about every week and sometimes I feel a sense of of sadness it, it, something comes over me because let's say you know something and other people don't know it there's a sense that it's a sadness that goes along with knowing more than the average Joe let me put it that way let me put it that way there's a sense of sadness when they talk about in the land of the blind the one i man is king that's not so that's not so okay it, it has never been so it can never that could never be the case so linda is talking about crashed ufos crashed discs she's talking about people from other parts of Maybe the earth, maybe the earth, they're from other planets, they're from other, wherever they're coming from, wherever they're coming from, they're not terrestrial, they're extraterrestrial, they're from someplace that we don't know about, someplace we don't see often, some people that we probably would never meet and even if you meet them you faint because they're bringing along a different kind of atmosphere they're bringing along a different space time everything is different their craft could look like a 30 foot craft and you enter into it and it's as big as the ocean it's big it, it looks small when you're outside but when you step into it it's a whole different ball game so they can manipulate space time Okay, so we're talking here about aliens again on last night on Linda Moulton Howe. And sadness came over me when I saw her doing this. Again, she's over 80. She's over 80 years old. She's been doing this for over 40 years now, over 40 years. She's talking about 85 years of cover-up. 85 years of cover-up and that's because why uh, um, they dropped some bombs in Japan that it disrupted some kind of fabric that they have that, you know, we're not supposed to mess with. It, it, it kind of perturbed something when those bombs were dropped and then people started seeing this in the sky. Anyone, anyone at any given time of the day can look up into the sky and see something that they wouldn't recognize as an airplane, as a regular jet plane. Any time of the day, all you have to do is raise your head and look to the sky. That's all you have to do. So to think that she has to, for 40 years, for 40 years, she has to be preaching, preaching, look up, look up. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. And with that shame comes a sense of sadness. It's a sense of sadness that she has to keep on doing the same thing day in and day out. And all a regular human being needs to do is to look up. This is Veronica.